Saudi Aramco, Basic Safety Rules Stop Unsafe Work Immediately stop any unsafe work that has the potential to injure personnel, damage equipment, or harm the environment. Incidents Report Immediately report all work-related injuries illnesses, no matter how minor, to your supervisor. Immediately report all fires, spills, or releases, no matter how small, to your supervisor. Immediately report any unsafe condition, unsafe act, near miss incident, or vehicle collision to your supervisor. Immediately notify emergency services of all emergencies by dialing 911 from a Saudi Aramco phone or dial the area emergency center number. Report all incidents, near misses, and safety observations, for example, unsafe conditions and unsafe acts, as per GI 6.000 Incident Notification, Reporting Investigation. Report injuries, spills, unsafe conditions, near misses, and incidents immediately. Incidents that do not require immediate support must be reported through the non-emergency numbers as per GI 6.000 Incident Notification, Reporting Investigation. Follow safe practices, comply at all times with all safe driving requirements, particularly speed limits, when operating a vehicle. Ensure that all persons in vehicles wear a seat belt at all times. Use the handrail and take only one, one, step at a time when going up or down stairways. Erect barricades and flagging around hazardous work areas, such as holes in decking and floor surfaces, trenches, road crossings, and overhead hazardous work. Use only proper tools and equipment maintained in a safe working condition. Do not use homemade, modified, or damaged tools. Maintain good housekeeping in your work area at all times. Smoke only in designated areas. Do not use matches or lighters in restricted areas. Rest and eat only in designated areas. Use proper manual lifting techniques, obtain assistance, or use mechanical lifting aids when lifting heavy loads. Ensure all safety guards, switches, and alarms are in place and functional on operating machinery and electrical switchgear. Lock, tag, clear, and try equipment to ensure proper isolation before working on energized equipment that has the potential for injury to personnel. Notify the appropriate supervisor and affected parties whenever a safety device is removed from service and or defeated, tag the device, and document the action properly. Chain lock or car seal open all block valves on in-service pressure relief systems. Inspect all fire extinguishers and other emergency equipment and keep them clear of any obstructions, Properly label and store all chemical or hazardous material containers. Where specified, store drums in secondary containment areas or on drum containment pallets. Avoid unsafe activities. Do not climb or stand on equipment, piping, valves, or unstable surfaces, for example, chairs or barrels, to perform work. Use approved fall protection measures, for example, personal fall arrest system or scaffolding, if the working height is greater than 1.8 meters 6 feet from the floor or platform level. Do not run in work areas. Do not wear finger rings, wristwatches, jewelry, loose clothing, unsecured long hair or loose accessories within an arm's reach of rotating equipment or electrical switchgear. Do not apply compressed industrial gases to yourself or others. Do not operate equipment that has a danger, do not operate, hold, tag. Do not start work in any area, or on any equipment, without consent of the Saudi Aramco person in charge, 
do not use electronic devices, for example, mobile phones, smartwatches, and instruments that are not listed as safe for use in classified locations without proper approval. Do not engage in horseplay or fighting. Protect yourself. Wear Saudi Aramco approved hard hats, safety eyewear with side shields, and safety footwear in all restricted areas, project sites, and in areas where specifically designated. Use approved additional hazard specific personal protective equipment, PPE, including goggles, face shield, respiratory protection equipment, and body hand protection where specific hazards requiring their use have been identified. Wear proper PPE prescribed by the Chemical Hazard Bulletin, CHB, or Safety Data Sheet, SDS, when handling chemicals or hazardous materials. Use approved hearing protection in designated high noise areas. Use proper hand protection, for example, gloves, when performing tasks that may present a hand injury risk. Wear an approved and appropriate helmet at all times while riding a bicycle, skateboard, scooter, or other similar device.